The House just released guidelines for states to follow as they consider reopening in the wake of this pandemic. Local 12's James Pilcher looked at the proposals and where our region stands when it comes to meeting that criteria. The White House proposal relies on a staged approach to reopening. Before anything can reopen, states should see a decline over two weeks in cases showing symptoms and in COVID-like cases per CDC guidelines. The alternative is a decline in actual positive coronavirus tests over two weeks, as well as a drop in documented cases. If that happens, states could slowly reopen with major precautions in place, including keeping elderly or sick at home, social distancing in place at restaurants and other venues, and small groups of 10 being able to meet socially with social distancing. We tried to track where each state was in terms of new cases by day over the last two weeks, but that data is not readily available for Ohio and Indiana. Kentucky gave Local 12 its numbers. They show that the number of new cases spiked on April 10th, but that there have not been more than two days of consecutive declines. We also crunched the local numbers for new cases in the region. As you can see from these trend lines for Southwest Ohio, northern Kentucky, and southeastern Indiana, the area has not seen 14 consecutive days of drops in new cases. So far, the reaction to the White House plan has been muted. Cincinnati Public Schools told me it would follow guidance from Governor Mike DeWine and Health Director Dr. Amy Acton before shifting from online learning. Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir said yesterday it would probably not be until the end of next month before things started up in that state. But my hope is, um, uh, if not uh, uh, May 1st, and May 1st is a hard date to hit, uh, that, that we'll be able to see some, some and it's, it's really gradual and phased in every plan we see out there, um, late May um, or, or, or June, we hope that there are certainly some things that Kentuckians will, will be able to uh, to be doing again. Congressman Steve Shabbat also said there should be a cautious approach state by state and that health officials need to be part of the conversation. So it's going to be on a state by state basis and we need to do it safely. We need to uh, defer to some degree to the uh, a considerable degree to the medical experts. Um, but we all have to uh, make this decision, I, I think, together. Mm -hmm. James Pilcher, Local 12 News. Governor Mike DeWine also said the state will begin a plan on May 1st, and he's coordinating with other governors in the region. But DeWine also wanted to emphasize the process will be fact-driven and take a long period of time.